right, we're gonna go harvest some rocks this morning. And in order to do that, you're gonna need a rock harvester, or otherwise known as a rock picker. I got it hooked to the 6030, and I'm getting ready to uh, head to a job that I've already seeded once, but as soon as I seeded it, the next day it rained five inches. So now, and this that was in the fall, now here in the spring, I'm going to try it again and I'm trying to decide whether I should seed it. I want to go get started working on it. I've already got a disc out there. I've been disking on it, but we're supposed to get about another inch and a half of rain over the next three days, starting Monday, today, Saturday. So I don't know whether I want to try it again. I can't make up my mind. But anyway, I want to get started on getting it ready and getting some of the rocks. There's some terrible rocks and sticks and junk out there. I want to go ahead and get started getting it out of there. But this is uh, basically how it works is you, you drag this bar on the ground it's, and it hydraulically, hydraulically raises up and down. So you set it on the ground and you got bars in there that lets the dirt through and then you got these rakes that are spinning with the PTO and flip the rocks up into the back of this machine and there's a bucket back here that all the uh, rocks and sticks go into and then you can dump it with these cylinders here you can raise this up in the air and then you pull a rope and it dumps the bucket out so that's kind of the way it works and you'll get to see it here today as I use it so let's head to the job so I can see it's so the sun is blinding me. But I am picking rocks and sticks. 
stuff out here to get up. And what you're supposed to do before running this machine is you're supposed there's a rake that goes with this machine that you go around and you can rake the rocks into windrows. Well, that rake it doesn't work the best in the world. It takes forever to get your rocks raked up. So what I'm doing is just going around and just hitting the big rocks that I see. I ain't real worried about the smaller rocks. I'm just trying to get up the, the rocks that are sticking out like a sore thumb and to, just to get them out of the way so I can box play this. I'm gonna box blade this land and uh, get it smoothed up. Now there's, this is only part of the field that I got to do or part of the land that I got to do. There's seven acres total so this is going to take quite a bit of time to do. Um, like I said earlier I done done all this once and now I got to do it again. Fortunately I am getting paid to do it again, so that's a good thing. You know, I did all this the first time and all the, the rain washed away. It's not, it wasn't my fault that it, that it got washed away, so. Anyway, here I am again. I didn't want to have to do this job again, because it's a pretty big job, but here we are. get the rocks or the big the majority of the rocks off like I said I'm gonna get the box the big box blade and I'm gonna go over it and get it smoothed back up with a lot of gullies a lot of uh, stuff that needs to be smoothed out and then it needs a bunch of lime it needs a bunch of fertilizer and then I gotta figure out whether I'm gonna put the seed in the ground this weekend or wait till this bad rain goes through and see how bad it washes it if I need to smooth it up some more. So, you know, it's a, I don't know what to do really. I just got to think about it. And come to a conclusion pretty quick. Now one thing, it fills up really fast. go back and dump it again already. It's going to be a long day. So then, I had 
was disking the other day. Uh, that's not the tractor I bought. I did buy a new tractor. So uh, you'll get to see what it is here. I think I'm going to be able to get it, go pick it up next week by Tuesday. And I'll show y'all what it is. So I've parked the rock picker for now. Oh, and if you want to know, this is a Anderson rock picker by Armor Metal Metal Products, and it is pretty old. My dad and my uncle bought it back when they were pretty young to uh, get up rocks out of cornfields on the farm, dairy farm. But anyway, you see over there in the woods where I was dumping the trash. I got a pretty good pile of trash down there that I cleaned up with the rock picker. It does get some dirt with it when it's when the dirt's kind of damp, but that's just the nature of the of the machine. You can't really do anything about it. So I got the T5 hooked to the box blade and I'm gonna start smoothing this land up. And we'll try to get this side ready to see before I go over, over there's the rest of it on the other side of the road up on the side of a hill. And this is actually a bigger area than this. I'm going to try to get this ready to seed today and then try to decide whether I'm going to actually seed it. i got to put some lime and fertilizer on it too. I may go ahead and put the lime on it once I get it ready. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, let's get smoothing it out here. <laughs> 